Hi friends, Angelica here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing how I put together these really cute Halloween inspired candy boxes using new products from Essentials by Ellen September release, which is now available in the Ellen Hudson shop. Um, we're going to take a quick look at the products I used and then jump right into assembling the boxes. This is the pyramid box die. I'm going to use two die cuts from this die to assemble the box. Next is farmhouse tags and then a tiny stars background, which is what I'm going to be putting through my uh, foil press machine. I have pre-cut panels of Concord Ninth cardstock ready to go. Um, I picked eggplant, black and parsley. Um, I also have a selection of foil for my Gemini foil press, which I will be using to um, make the stars, to put the stars onto the cardstock. I have black and white ribbon that I bought at Michael's last year. And then I'll be using a sentiment from Taggett Halloween stamp set. I did foil all of my panels off screen. My work area is really limited in space, so it's hard for me to share how I foil or die cut my paper. So I'll leave a link to another video if you have any questions or are curious on how to foil. Um, there's lots of videos that you can find on YouTube, so I will um, link one down in my video description. I'm going to be making the box with the marmalade cardstock, and I used gold foil to add the gold stars and right now all I'm doing is folding the score lines that the pyramid box die imprints into the cardstock. I'm using my bone folder to really enforce those folds. I want my folded lines to be really um, sharp so especially towards the top so it has so the pyramid has a nice pointy top. I'm going to repeat the folding on the second panel and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut off a flap off of one of the panels before I start adhering the pieces together. I'm going to be using double-sided adhesive to attach the pieces together. I put the adhesive on the top side of each piece there's a little triangle flap um, and I try to keep the adhesive as close to the score line as I can get. I want the edge of the second piece pretty much flushed with the folded edge. Now before I put the pieces together, I'm just going to do a quick run, make sure I like how everything looks before I take the adhesive backing off. And now I'm going to just match those edges up together. Um, again, making sure I am very, very close, if not on that folded score line. So when the pyramid does fold, there's no edges sticking out. After I have the first edge attached, doing the other side is really easy. I'm going to take the adhesive backing off and fold the um, paper over, making sure again that the edges match up, and then just push the paper down into the adhesive. And now I have a really cute pyramid box. Um, I'm going to fill it up with some candy, and then you're going to see that the bottom tucks in really nicely. There isn't Halloween candy just quite yet at the local store right by my house, but I was able to pick up a bag of candy corn and that's what I'm going to fill the box with so you can see how sturdy it is and how much candy will go in there. I got a pretty big handful size of candy um, inside the box closed up the bottom and now I'm going to shake it so you can see how sturdy the bottom is. The, the flap didn't open, the candy didn't go out everywhere. Um, I think that this pyramid box is so cute. I paired the boxes with a farmhouse tag. I die cut four white tags first and then I used the leftover foiled um, cardstock to die cut um, the top and the bottom as you can see here I, I just used the die to um, put it over some foiled stars uh, so I could have that star um, pattern on the colored cardstock and then I glued the pieces to the white tags. 
I loved incorporating the cardstock that was left over from when I die cut the pyramid boxes. I did want to add just a little bit more color to each tag though. So I went through my um, orange cardstock scraps and I found a dark orange that I die cut with the thin um, farmhouse tag. And then I cut the tag down into little strips so I can take um, a small strip of orange and put it on um, the top and the bottom next to the colored cardstock. Since I was using the same sentiment for all four tags, I assembled the tags first with the colored cardstock and the little orange strips. And then I'm going to use a negative from one of the white tags. I'm going to put that in my Misty and then I'm going to put each tag back into that negative space and be able to stamp the sentiment onto the tag um, in the same position for each tag. Anytime that I am going to stamp a stamp multiple times onto a die cut, I always die cut first and then stamp. It's just, it saves so much time doing it that way. Now it's time to use that black and white ribbon. I am using it to make small bows, which I am tying right off of the spool. I'm just gonna play around a little bit with the ribbon pulling here or there until I really like the position of the um, bow. And then I'm gonna use scissors to cut the edges off at an angle. After I get all four bows tied, it will be time for the final assembly of the box. And I'm gonna bring out zots, which are sticky circles. I'm gonna put it on the back of the tag, which will then stick to the box. And then I'm gonna use another zot to put on the back of the um, bow and then attach the bow to the tag. I really wanted to use the black and white ribbon on this project, but the ribbon itself is way too thick to put through the circles that are um, on the tab or on the tag. So bringing in the zots makes it look like I was able to tie the tag to the pyramid when I just used um, adhesive, little adhesive dots. I'm gonna get that last tag and bow put on and this is going to finish up my candy boxes. I love how well these products work together. The tiny stars background foiled onto cardstock, which was made into pyramid boxes and finished up with the farmhouse tags. So adorable. All of these products are now available in the Ellen Hudson shop and I'll leave a link to the shop in my video description. That's all that I have for today. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe. I'll be back shortly with another video, so I'll see you then.